Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Vision Quests. It's time to jump into chapter 1.3, which is called Brothers. Villagers in Bellaro pro predominantly subsist through farming and fishing. Root vegetables, bread, and a river salmon steak or a coastal crab, with herbs foraged from the surrounding forests, are frequent sights on their dinner tables. The town of Rask, where Storch and his companions call home, is no different, but this sleepy hamlet would soon change. I absolutely love this little world-building narration that this hack does before every chapter. It's so good. Uh, you don't need to say much, but just little bits of trivia from the surrounding lands. Like, who are these people? Why do they live here? What do they eat? What do they work as? Things like that really helps immerse the player into the world. It's remarkable how little it takes, but right now, just, just based on this intro narration, I'm already invested in the village. I'm invested into the village and the people there. It's, it's really remarkable. When was the last time you went home? Been a while now, probably as long as you. Yeah, it's been over a month since I handed my parents my share of the money from the merchants. That was quite the haul. Our family should be able to pay taxes for a few months at least. I hope you're right. I just want to be able to rest easy. Go back to how things were. Storch, you haven't been yourself lately. Is something wrong? I guess I'm a little homesick, is all. I worry about Marlin. You shouldn't worry so much about your younger brother. He's more capable than you think. He's certainly better on horseback than you are. Hey, you know what? That I feel funny riding on an animal. I never It never felt right to me. I like keeping my feet firmly planted on the ground. No need to stray far. You and I both know everything he knows about sword fighting. He learned from me. <laughs> I'm teasing you. He's up. I'm sure Marlin is fine. Storch! Vagalus! Lara, is everything right? Or is everything okay? You look like you've been running for a while. It's your hometown, Storch. It's under attack by bandits. What? Marlin! Marlin's holding out with your parents and a few of the villagers, but we gotta go back and save them. Right. Vagalus, let's move. Lara, alert the others. You can count on me! Right, let's go. Marlin, you and your mother should hide in the basement. You'll be safe there. Dad, what about you? I'll stay out here and keep an eye out. Don't worry about me, Marlin. But Dad, your leg still hasn't healed. Let me guard the house. No, Marlin, it's too dangerous. You taught me how to ride a horse, and Storch taught me how to use a sword. And this blade, it's Augustine's. I can protect us if anyone comes near, but you're not in any shape to. Please, Dad. Laura can run Laura ran to find Storch. They're gonna come and save us, I just know it. I can hold out in the meantime, but you gotta trust me, Dad. He makes a good point there. Yeah? You shouldn't overexert yourself. Hard to argue with a woman. All right, you win, Marlon. We'll be down in the basement. Be careful, you hear? Right, I'll do my best. Storch, Lara, I hope you both come back soon. Okay, it's time for chapter three. So we gotta defend the village. <laughs> I still am not used to this battle preparation music at all. Oh, Girkin, there he is. Captain of a bandit gang, thinks highly of himself. He has Intimidate. And here we have Marlon, Storch's little brother, innocent and kind-hearted. Oh, brother sword, that's cool. So he has a personal sword that is a brave weapon, apparently. And here we have Larissa, daughter of the famed blacksmith. She doesn't let you forget it. Oh, wow. It's like little Leone right here. Okay, she has strong repose. That's a cool armor knight skill to have, actually. I like that. Okay. So I'm assuming we can bring everyone. Is everyone properly equipped? I think so. We can put the boog, boog yacht. We could definitely put that in the convoy, but that longbow seems like something we want to have. Anything else we want? We don't really have much. We still have that goddess icon. I'm still kind of holding on to it, not really knowing what to do with it. I feel like maybe I should probably do something about that soon. But yeah, I say we just go. Apparently supports in this hack build like Talia supports, so they just like you just get them This look awful. Is this our punishment? Focus Storch. Marlin and your parents are in there still. It looks like some of the villagers have taken up arms I'm sure Marlin is fighting with them. You're right. We have to persevere. I'm not going to let anyone harm my family Storch don't just rush into battle There's no reasoning with him when he comes to this Finally got all this armor on. Time to go help the village. If they take the shop, Dad will be ruined. Can't imagine a girl like me not having money and all. Okay. Kitty Karius. 
I love this theme, it's so good. I don't know if it really fits the narrative of the map, though. I feel like... I, I like the music in this hack so far, but I feel like it doesn't exactly convey the emotion that the map should make you feel. This is kind of like jolly music, you know? And there there are some maps where it fits some, but I feel like a village defense map like this doesn't really fit, but hey. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, it's, it's a jamming groove, so... So I'm assuming that... We're gonna have to go and recruit the green units. I'm assuming, uh, I don't know, who, who talks to the girl? Yeah, it's Storch, so probably put him in a position where he can talk to her while the rest of us uh, finish off these guys. So we'll see if our Pegasus Knight can... Oh wow, she doesn't double, what the hell? Bad unit, bad unit. I guess hard mode enemies are just really strong. I don't know, I always hate it when my Pegasus Knight don't, don't double things. It's like their job, you know? Alright, let's go. Now you can probably kill him. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. So I'm assuming I go recruit the, the armor knight first, and then I can go recruit the brother. I can maybe pick up... Once I'm done recruiting her, maybe I can just pick pick up Storch with, with um, Natsuko and then just fly him north. Actually, I'll be able to reach him soon enough, I think, without any issues. Anyway, uh, we have a talk conversation. I think you can talk without spending your turn in this hack. Esphere. Vagalus? It's not like you to initiate a conversation. Are you okay? Did the brigand knock you in the head? I'm fine. It's Storch I'm worried about. Yes, he does seem a bit distant lately. He yearns for the peaceful times of yore, he tells me. This lifestyle is wearing him out. I've gleaned the same thing. If we don't do this, though, we're all going to get thrown in jail. And it's not like we have the numbers or skills to challenge Lord Gray Graydon to make him lower the tax rates. We're going to have to do this for a while, unless we can find a way to leave Bellaro. I don't disagree. This is why I worry him. He hasn't accepted reality yet. Sometimes, Vagalus, people never accept reality. People will spend their whole lives trying to recreate a fleeting feeling that they had in their youth, looking backwards instead, or forwards, towards what they could do next. Indeed, let's hope that Storch can adopt this mentality. You're a good friend, Vagalus. Storch needs you now more than ever. And you. Ever since you and Lero arrived, he has wanted to ensure your safety too. His family helped us quite a bit when we came here. I owe it to him. Then let's pay back that favor. Let's go. Right. And yes, you can indeed fight after you initiate talks. That's good to see. Always prefer that, to be honest. I, I never like it when a game punishes you for, for talking. So, they've come back. Looks like this was the right town. Damn it, Cutter. This town's bone dry. Only here for your sake. I'll show him. The great Gherkin will get revenge. Mm -mm. Okay. Interesting maneuver. So he's just here to like avenge his friend. That's a very loyal brigand, I gotta say. I imagine most brigands would be like, oh hell no, my friend got killed, I'm out of here. But he's like, nah, -uh. I'm gonna risk my life to avenge this guy that I just met. <laughs> That's a cute knight. <laughs> that armor must be so much bigger than her. Alright, so we got a female armor knight. Is this just Wendy 2.0? I guess she's Wendy 2.0, but she she has better, I suppose. She's like w Wendy Plus. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Green unit theme. We got a green unit theme, boys. Alright, let's go recruit. Oh, we gotta deal with this guy first. Da -da 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 I cannot not sing along to this theme. Oh, that's a crit. 2% crit. Crit patch applied. Sorry, I hope you just guys don't mind. I applied a crit patch when you weren't looking. Hit points, skill, and speed? Okay. I haven't really gotten that many spectacular level ups yet. Ooh, Iron Blade. Pretty sure Storch will get that. I actually didn't check if this hack has tracer trading. I should probably check that out. Storch? So it takes... So it takes an attack on our town for you to show your face. Hi, Larissa. Is that all you have to say? We haven't spoken in months. Every time I come looking for you, your brother says you aren't around. Marlon isn't lying. Look, just be careful, okay? This is a battlefield. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Ugh, will he ever grow up? <laughs> just a little shove for good measure, you know? Alright, um... I'm assuming storage... I guess I'll go talk. So this is where you ran off to. I'm not mad. 
I just don't appreciate your you lying. You said you were going to town to get food for dinner later. If you want to spend time with your boyfriend, you don't have to hide it from me. We can talk about this, woman to woman. Marlin is not my boyfriend. Oh, my apologies. Maybe if my daughter told me where she was going, I wouldn't have to draw my own conclusions. Alright, alright, I'm sorry for lying. I did pick up food. Marlon helped me with the vegetables, since he knows how to pick up the good ones, being a farmer and all. It's okay, please don't feel like you need to hide from me, Lara. If you aren't truthful with me, I can't protect you. And if anything were to happen to you... I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Thank you, love. With the bottle, When the bottle is over, we'll be sure to talk more about your boyfriend. I'd love to hear about him. He's not... Ah, uh, moms are so annoying. I gotta say, it's not often you get to see a mom-daughter relationship in Fire Emblem. It's quite refreshing, honestly. Like, how many other, like, Fire Emblem games do you have where you actually play... Would you have the mother and daughter as playable characters in the same army? Aside from, like, Fates. But that's not really the same, is it? You know? I like it. I like it. It's a, it's a different dynamic, and it's very refreshing to see, especially so early on on a hack. I mean... In Fire Emblem, the old parents usually do are just die, you know, to give the kids something to be sad over. Ooh, now that's a level up. I told you this guy was gonna be good. I told you this guy was gonna get good. Gosh, oh no, wait, what am I doing? You know what, I'm actually gonna pick him up, I think. Uh, will it actually save me any turns? I don't actually think it will. Anyway, Mr. Green Unit can deal with uh, Brigand over there. I'm sure he'll be fine. So, I don't know how those Axe Knights are gonna fare against me, but I'm assuming they're gonna... They're gonna hurt. Something tells me I should probably visit the Armory with Larissa. I just have a hunch that it's gonna trigger a secret event, since she's like the, the daughter of the blacksmith. I feel like she might get something. I know if I designed a map like this, I would probably add a secret event in the blacksmith. It just seems logical, you know? Anyway, I gotta go up. This guy is a bit more of a wuss than I thought. Oof, that hurts. Ow. Holy crap, man. That actually hurts a lot. Okay, uh, please don't die, dude. He can take three more hits, and then he's then he's gone. Okay, thank god he dodged. Ooh, guy's coming in from behind. Okay, anyway, I can I can recruit him next turn. So I don't need to pick 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 him up. Uh, I kind of want to give this Iron Blade over. I think I'm going to do that right now. I should have popped a Vulnerary. I don't know why I didn't. There's no point in shoving. But I'm definitely going to kill this guy with uh, Natsuko. I don't want Green Unit to get the kill. That would be bad. Ugh, my nose is itching today. I don't know what it is. Okay. So, uh, I guess we can just let uh, Sphere deal with this guy. What does he have? Just an Iron Axe? Yeah, that's fine. So if we uh, put her in the... Yeah, I think I want to, like, block off this choke. I'll just equip an Iron Sword, and then I'll run over here. Okay, can I, uh, can I kill this archer? That's the big question, isn't it? Hmm. I have a feeling those fighters are gonna cause some problems. So, uh, I probably shouldn't stick around for too long. I really want to do this, though. Oh, wow, 4% crit, nice. That crit patch really doing work. Man, everyone should install the crit patch, it's the best. Alright, five damage. That's not so bad. Does she get doubled? I don't think so. Uh, nope. No doubling. That's cool. I don't mind. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, man. That's pretty harsh. How was I supposed to... Wow, that's pretty insane. I gotta say, like, that is... That is a village that gets pretty fucking quickly destroyed, but... Oh, well. Hopefully there wasn't, like, a guidance chapter tied to that or something. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I gotta get better. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go and uh, talk here. Brother, you came! Marlin, are you well? Where are mom and dad? They're hiding inside. Good, I'm glad you're safe. Stay near me. Yes, brother. Okay. Let's heal up. So I see a really good spot for this guy to get some experience. Oh, I should check out their growth rates, by the way. Let's check him out. So this guy has 
Swap. That's a pretty cool personal skill. Especially considering he can swap and then Kanto. I like that. Two, uh, his sword apparently gives him two defense and rest. And here is growth rates. A little slow. 50 strength, 35 speed. Hmm. Good luck. Average defense and resistance. Good HP. A little bit low on the skill side, too. But he has a base... Ah, seven base speed. I guess that's, that's okay. Anyway, let's do this. The brother sword seems very decent at least, so I'm sure we can get a couple of nice kills here. Anyway, I think Mr. Archer is gonna have some fun here. There we go. And then we can probably just pull the boss, I imagine. He's like right over here. What about this guy? Hmm, I think if we, if we throw an axe at him first. Oh, never mind, that didn't work. So should we attack here? That's the question. Uh, I think not, actually. I think we, we will Nerari. Apparently there's a lot of stealables in this hike, so I should be on the lookout for that. Yeah, it's a vulnerary right here that I want to steal, so I'm gonna... Ah, that's the problem, though. I... Yeah, I'm gonna go over here, I think. This music just makes me in such a good mood. Ow, what the hell? Man, I gotta apply that dodge patch now. This ain't good. Alright, this is- oof. Okay, wow. Natsuko is not as dodgy as I would've wanted her to be. She could've easily died here if this axe had connected. Still, I, I do actually kind of prefer a Pegasus wielding swords over lances. I feel like, at least in the early game against the Brigands, it just is a lot more reliable. Lances tend to lose you uh, speed on Pegasus Knights because they usually don't have a lot of con. Swords are just lighter, and they still, like, get to fly around and be Pegasus Knights and do all that stuff. And just having Weapon Triangle against these Brigands is so nice. Pretty sure in the original Fire Emblem, Sheeta wielded swords at base, but couldn't she both use swords and lances? I think so. I think they could use both, actually. Ah, not so cool. You're not getting good level ups, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Anyway, I'm gonna take on all these guys, honestly. Uh, let's see. What is their hit chance against me? I think if I just stick to the forests, they're gonna get the forest regardless. I might as well do this. There we go. I'm gonna try to visit the house with storage. I'm sure he has some unique dialogue in here since it should be his parents, right? Home. It's been a while, hasn't it? Mom and dad must be down in the basement. Should grab this just in case we need it later. I'll come back after all this is over. He doesn't even say hi! What the hell, man? Come on, your mom and dad are down in the basement. Go say hello to them. I know we're fighting and stuff, but come on. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this guy now. Uh, I'm gonna actually do this. And I'm gonna steal the vulnerary next turn. Yeah, I'm equipped the longbow, and then I'm gonna go... I wanna see if there's anything here. Oh, what the hell is this? A Schlagsvard. Powerful sword. Wow, 13,500. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to afford that? How the hell am I supposed to afford that? Huh. That's a lot of money. So what if I just wait here? Ah, no secret events. Well, I'm disappointed, but okay. Let's try and get this village down here, shall we? Alright, let's see how this goes. Yes, I thought their hit rate against Marlin is really bad. Ooh, that's a crit. Sit down. Ooh, that's a double crit, man. That crit patch, man. It's effective. Hmm. Alright, now that guy's moving as well. Maybe I should have equipped the Ruby Sword. Nah, it's okay. So yeah, I'll get to steal myself a Vulnerary from the Mage. That's nice. Granted, I don't kill him. Which I hope I won't. But yeah, this guy's easy to level. Holy shit, is this a joke? Oh my god, that was like three crits in a row. What the hell? 
Damn. Oh wow, the Hatcher doesn't do a lot of damage at all. Look at this thing. Huh, all right. Hit points, strength, skill, and defense. All right. No problem. All right, I think I'm gonna, as much as I like my little brother, I feel like Storch should get a couple kills too. One thing I've noticed is thing I'm not really utilizing my my charisma very effectively here cuz I'm basically moving up to like you know do my own little thing up there whereas all my guys are fighting down here that's a bit stupid but oh well Anyway yoink my vulnerary now Thank you it will be put to good use So uh, I think I'll do this I'll take a fireball to the face but that's okay Vegas can handle it he's buff Oh, never mind, he dodged. This is a good unit. And then, I suppose... Uh, what am I gonna do here? Can I... Oh, I can kill this guy. That's nice. Bonk. Wait, does this hack feature health bars? I think it does, right? Yeah, it does. I don't know why I thought... Why I didn't... Why I missed that, but... Alright, I'm gonna do this. Hmm. Huh. So the question is, do I want to fight that Merc with my Pegasus Knight? I feel like it's a bad idea. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna get doubled. No, but it's not like I can do a whole lot. Uh, eh. Oh wow, he has a ranged attack. Wait, what? Oh no, he doesn't. That was just an optical illusion. Uh, I feel like uh, Larissa is probably the best target to deal with that guy. She's on full health, so she should be fine. Da -da -da, na -na -na -na. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bonk, clink, clank. Gotta love it when they attack your armor knight and all they get is a clank. This is not gonna clank though. No, this is gonna gonk. A clank and a gonk. All right, I is this a kill boss or a route? I think it's a route, but I remember. I'm bad at paying attention. Are we gonna get another crit? Is the crit patch gonna keep working? Nah, looks like we've exalted, exhausted our crit patch, guys. Feels bad. Alright, uh, no, it's defeat boss. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, I'm a... Uh, this guy has a... Uh, oh, he doesn't move. Okay, then. That's okay. I'm gonna move down here. I'm gonna deal with that guy. I'm a little bit sad about this village, but eh. I can, uh... Probably didn't miss out on anything important, I imagine. I should probably check. I know there's like a list of like guidance chapter requirements and stuff like that. I should probably give that a look, honestly. Any more uh, stealables? Uh, the boss has a vulnerary that I'd love to steal, so I'm just gonna go. Actually, I can still steal next turn if I do this. This should be fine. There we go. And we gotta make sure we visit the village before we take out the boss. Important, important. But of course, there is a, a nasty archer here, so we should probably send an archer of our own to uh, flush him out. Vagalus, man. He's gonna become good. He's gonna become my MVP. I'm calling it right now, guys. Vagalus 2020. That's where we're at right now. This song is impossible not to sing along with. Alright, looks like we are uh, moving in on the boss. I think my, uh, maybe I'll just ruby sword this guy. Yeah, I think that's, uh, oh, I'm, my inventory is full. Alright, well, we can do, we can do something about that. There we go. And we'll do, we'll do this. We'll move the mage chain as well, and uh, then we can steal his stuff. My phone is getting alerts. Not now, I'm playing vision quests. Who's talking to me? Oh. Huh. I don't know if you guys are following this drama that is going on with Method, the WoW Guild, but my friend is talking a lot to me about it today. It's a sad situation, really. I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft as a teenager, so phone has been ringing all day with notifications about that drama. What a messy situation. Anyway, let's um, play Vision Quests. Shake in your boots, quiver in fear, this town is as good as ours, and you're a damn fool to stand in our way now. 
I don't know, man. Oh my god, crit patch. Oh no, the village! The village! Fuck. Oh wow, he gets double? Oh crap. Uh, that's bad. No, what the hell? Okay, I need to make sure that the boss... I need to make sure that the boss can attack someone from a distance. Yeah, I need to make sure... I mean, I need to do... I need to I need to get you the fuck out of here. And then I need to do this. Because I need to visit that goddamn village. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That was scary. Holy shit. I can't believe the crit patch fucked me over. Alright, I guess I don't need to kill this guy per se. Oh, oh never mind. Vagalus doubles because he's a boss. I, I told you guys, he's gonna be the best guy on my team. He's gonna be the absolute best guy on my team. What are you doing here? Bandits are not welcome. Wait, you're not bandits? What? You're here to rescue me? I'm old and <laughs> I'm old <laughs> and confused. Please just leave me be. Take this, it may be helpful. Hey, armor slayer. That might come in handy later. Alright, let's bonk him. So who should get the kill? I'm saying probably Storch. I have a feeling it's gonna be a important to level Storch, so let's do this. So the hero is here. We're gonna make you fear the name of the Dragon Blood Bandits. Dragon Blood Bandits? Sheesh, the only thing worse than your deeds is your choice in names. A cheeky one, eh? We'll see how you like this. We'll fillet you and your family. No one messes with my family. Well. You'll regret this, I swear. He's dead. Strength and resistance. Wow, Storch continues to become a mage killer. Storch, you're a complete menace. You're like a crazed beast on the battlefield. I ain't never seen this side of you before. It was something. Where is Marlin? Relax, the kid's alright. Saw him, he handled himself. Pretty well out there. Brother. Marlin, where are our parents? They're safe, brother. I told you, they're hiding in the basement. I see. Thank you, Marlin. I'm glad you're safe. Ah, oh, heck, brother. I just did what you would do, is all. Marlin, let's go see Mom and Dad. Hey, Vagalus, you know Old Storch better than me. Is he always so... like this? It's like he's here, but only focusing on one thing and tuning out all the other things, you know? I hear you, cousin. It's been like this since Older Brother. Older Brother? Vagalus, you slippery toad. Nobody ever told me Storch had an older brother. I think Storch tries to forget, too. His elder bro- Arcady, it's nice to see you again, Vagalus. Larissa. Larissa, you're looking all fine in that armor of yours. Tell me, who thought you had to wield a lance like that? You're one heck of a force. Stow it, boy. Where's Storch? His house. He's not interested. Way to cut to the chase, cousin. Yow. No, it's not that, Vagalus. I mean, a woman of my stature and wealth would not be so foolish as to associate with such an uncouth vagabond. Oh, really? Like the blacksmith's daughter? Yeah, that's such a high... You're such a... <laughs> you're a woman of high birth, clearly. Keep telling yourself that. You! What now? I'm about to move out of this conversation. I thought battles got heated, but oh boy, Vagalus, you sure know how to dial it up. Maybe you should take a breather, too. Let's go, cousin. Right. Lovely seeing you again, Larissa. Get home safe, home safe now, you hear? He's an, as antagonistic as ever. I suppose I can't blame him. He's always, he always was a loyal friend to Storch. Alas, Larissa, why do you find yourself caught in the struggle? We're back. And look, Storch came home. Mom, Dad, are you both alright? My sons. Oh, I'm so glad you're both safe. Storch, we're fine. How's the damage outside? We tried to keep it to a minimum. I don't think they'll be coming back anytime soon. Storch swooped right in there in the nick of time, Dad, like a real hero. Right. Marlin, take your mother upstairs. We should be off to sleep soon. Yes, Dad. Storch, thank you. Have a good rest. Please feel free to stay the night. Good night, Mom. I don't know where the hell you've been off to, or whether this money is coming from. But it seems like too strange of a coincidence that Bandit would come out to the neck of the woods the same time you decide to show up. Nothing to say? It's as they say. What goes around comes around. You better shape up, boy. Your mother damn near had a heart attack, waiting for Marlin to come home. It's hard enough for us to scrape by on the money we have with these oppressive taxes. 
And if you're responsible for bringing bandits to our front door to take the to take the leftovers, it's not like that, Dad. I've been working up at the porch as a mercenary, guarding merchants, that sort of thing. Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes, boy. I see through this. Ain't nobody would be a big enough fool to hire a sniveling coward like you. Whoa. Relax, Dad. You best get out of here before the sun rises and more trouble comes true. You better stop coming around to drop off coin, too. I'm not going to take it anymore, now that I've confirmed where it's coming from. You best take it back. Last thing we need more is more death in this family. Dad. I've said what I wanted to say. Don't come back here, Storch. It's for your own good. You're going down a path I cannot condone. There's no joy in surviving it, if it's true unjust means. Maybe one day you'll see that. Alright, I see how it is, Dad. I only wish you could see from my perspective. I only want to help. If that makes me too much of a burden, then so be it. Farewell, Father. Tell me, Mom. Tell Mom I'm sorry. Oh. Are you going to stick around for a few days, Torch? Nope, we'll leave tonight. Alright, I'll inform the others. I remember the merchant saying he came from Port Iran. I'm sure we'll hear some rumors and figure out a plan up north there. Brother. Marlon. What are you doing out here? I should ask you the same question. Why aren't you back home? I'm not welcome there anymore. But why? Dad says so, and it's his house and all. So I gotta be off. And everyone else is going with you too? Vagilis, Lara, Esphere, all of them? That's right. Let me join you, brother. No, brother. We're knee-deep in some dangerous stuff. Marlin, you wouldn't want to get involved. If anything were to happen to you... You saw how I fought back there. I'm better than horseback than you. I'm ready for this. Honest. No, Marlin. It's too dangerous. You need to stay here with Mom and Dad. Dad's not in the same shape as he was, and Mom can use the help, too. <laughs> don't cry, Marlin. You're too old to cry. I just... I just don't want to lose you. <laughs> Dad's changed, Storch. It's real depressing and all to be home. He's always muttering about you and Augustine. You gotta let me come with you. Augustine. Alright. I suppose it's easier to protect you, if you're close by. This isn't the easy street, Marlin. I hope you're ready for what's to come. You mean it, brother? I may regret this, but you need to be strong, alright? Strong for me, Mom, even Dad. I spend so much of my time worrying about you. I guess it'll be easier for me if I know you're right next to me, right? I'll do my best to protect you. But don't be reliant on me. You gotta be able to fend for yourself, you hear me? I won't let you down, brother. I'm coming too. Larissa? Look, Storch, I know that you and I aren't on the best terms, but I want to help. I care as much about this town as you do. The shop isn't doing as well as it once did. If you're heading north to find work, count me in. Even though we're f in fine financially and run the best smithy in town, extra gold couldn't hurt. Alright, thank you, Larissa. It's dangerous business we're in, be ready for the worst. Don't say I didn't warn you. Fighting every day? Heck, exhausting, ain't even able to articulate how it feels. But if it's what we gotta do to survive these taxes, then it's worth fighting for. With all of us together, we'll be fine. Let's hope that's the case this time. Meanwhile, in Castle Bellaro. Lord Titus, I understand you are grieving at this moment. Your father's death was an unfortunate accident. But please think... But please think clearly for a moment about this suggestion. The taxes must remain high so that we can focus on important projects. Strategic initiatives that will drive Bellaro forward. While my father's death has wrought havoc on my mind, I have not allowed my grief to cloud my judgment. Lord Graydon, my dear uncle, I implore you to reconsider. My father, Lord Vespasian, and I shared similar views on this. Why do we charge such high taxes and jail the people? What are these initiatives? As a noble of Bellaro, I would like to contribute to the success of my empire. I would ask you to consider my request as an advisor to you. Now, Lord Titus, all will be made clear soon. Infrastructure projects, trade relations, the ability to import and export with greater velocity. The economic situation will only improve with a strong, well-funded governing body, which I will lead, of course. But what of the poor who cannot pay? If they are in jail, will they be able to enjoy this? Lord Titus, you mustn't. General Leslie, please do not speak out of turn. This is no negotiation, Titus. My decision is final. You may see yourself as an advisor to me. I will remind you that my power is absolute here. All right, Lord Graydon, I will respect your wishes. Good. Now then, we must turn to the current state of affairs. 
General Leslie has been patrolling in the southern part of Bolaro, and has noted an increase in crime. But she wasn't able to apprehend them? No, she did not. But she will. We will deploy additional soldiers to eliminate crime. It is our job as rulers to ensure a functioning and safe society, no? Yes, of course. But what's this criminal activity? General Leslie, what intelligence can you share on this band? They are a ragtag group. Only a handful of men and women in their ranks. But they are a slippery lot. They dispatched a town guard and raided homes in the area, stealing valuables and gold. I suspect they will head further north where townspeople are wealthier and commerce more frequent. Uh, and commerce more frequent. I will personally lead a sweep of all ports. I see. This is most troubling. Thank you, General Leslie. This disturbance will be resolved quickly. General Leslie is as fierce as they come. They stand little chance. Excuse me, for I must leave to make preparations. Emperor Freston himself will be visiting in the coming weeks. Farewell, my nephew. A pleasure as always, Lord Titus. Helga. Thank you, Lord Uncle. May your preparations be made swiftly and fruitfully. Well, sister, I must commend your restraints. Are you well? Captain Soya. <laughs> Soya. Oh, soybean. My dear sister, I apologize for being late. As you know, things have gotten a bit out of hand. The tax collection is rather aggressive and crime is on the rise. I fear the two are linked. Does Lord Graydon share this with you, sister? You speak as if you share Lord Titus' views on the matter. A soldier must reflect the strength of their leader. We must also stand as one. If Graydon wills it, I will see it true. Between you and I, as sisters, I disagree with the approach. However, I cannot allow my emotions to obstruct my duty. Being fierce on the field of battle, striking fear into enemies. I always try to remember that I am here because of Lord Graydon's kindness. You and I both owe him for this chance, and I must act this way when fighting. It is essential to victory, and for the success of Bolaro. I understand, sister. I will not trouble you. But enough talk of this. I will depart on the morrow. Sister, would you care to join me for a fine wine? I would hope to have a restful evening before traveling. Is that a Bellar in red? My dear sister, you know me well. I'll be delighted to join you. You will also like the cheese that I found at the market. It is a rare Manchego cheese, aged for close to two years. The vendor says it's firm with a compact consistency and a buttery texture. It sounded delightful. I think the creator of the sack really likes cheese. This is the second scene where they describe cheese in, in great detail. And more importantly, would be would be excellent with this dry red. Manchego and red wine. You have impeccable taste, Leslie. It'd be great to spend the evening with you, and not as colleagues, but as a family. Indeed. So yeah, my dear sister, I am lucky to have you. And I you, Leslie. Shall we? Yes, let's go. Alright. So yeah, tax very dialogue heavy hack. I I think going forward we'll probably do like two episodes per chapter because these, these episodes are getting very long. Okay. Um yeah, what can I say? This is uh like uh, I'm gonna save and uh, I like the menu music. What can I say, man? This is a uh, text-heavy hack, but it's really growing on me. It's really growing on me. Like, Storch's relationship with his father, that's really well done. Like, his reaction to his son doing, like, he's, he really suspects that his son is, like, up to no good and really reprimanding him for it. This is really good. Um, seeing, like, the Grenin guy, like, the general, he's, like, plotting and scheming, being very, like, dictatorial and tyrannical. Clearly killing that guy and lying about it to his son. Like, he's really scheming. I'm really, like, curious to see what is driving him, because he seemed to drop a hint that, they, that he had to do this. So that leads me to believe that he may be bribing someone to, like, keep his nation safe or something. I don't know. So I'm, I'm very curious to see where the story is headed next, and I'm very intrigued. So, yeah, this hack is definitely growing on me. The writing is very extensive, it's very text-heavy, but, but it's good. Like, the dialogue is very good. It doesn't feel stiff or fake at all, so... I, I really like it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Um, I think there's a new version of Mission Quest out right now, so you should definitely go check that out if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.